Over the past half century, China's space program has soared from its ambitious first steps to become one of the leading nations in the international space arena. With an annual budget of approximately 3 billion United States dollars, China has executed more than 500 rocket launches, achieving an impressive success rate of 98%, a figure that showcases remarkable stability and precision. Since launching its first satellite in 1970, the nation has now set a bold goal, landing humans on the moon by the year 2030, marking a historic milestone in its quest to conquer space. This progress is even more striking with the International Lunar Research Station, ILRS initiative, a collaborative project with Russia, Pakistan, South Africa, and several other countries aimed at constructing a research station at the moon's South Pole. This is not merely a space project, but a visionary effort to shape the future of cosmic exploration, where cutting edge technologies and global cooperation converge to usher in a new era. Join Top 10 Discoveries Official as we explore the remarkable achievements China has accomplished, from its massive space station to groundbreaking lunar missions, and seek answers to the question, how has a nation that only began its space journey a few decades ago advanced so far, and what lies ahead in the future? China's space journey began in 1970 when the Long March 1 rocket launched the Dongfang Hong-1 satellite into low Earth orbit at an altitude of 273 miles. This event not only marked China as the third nation in the world to independently develop and launch a satellite, but also showcased its ambition to reach beyond the planet from its earliest days. Since then, the Long March rocket series has evolved significantly through its second, third, and fourth versions, becoming the backbone of China's space program with over 400 launches from 1970 to 2020. These rockets, boasting an average thrust of 600,000 pounds, have carried telecommunications, Earth observation, and scientific satellites, laying the foundation for more complex missions in the future. By 2003, China achieved a historic milestone with its first crewed mission. Astronaut Yang Liwei, aboard the Shenzhou 5 spacecraft, completed 14 orbits around Earth at an altitude of 213 miles in 21 hours, using the Long March 2F rocket with a reliability rate of 97%. This success positioned China as the third nation, following the Soviet Union and the United States, capable of independently sending humans into space, affirming its technical prowess and strategic investment. Just a decade later, the crewed space program, known as Project 921, continued to make its mark with the launch of experimental modules like Tiangong-1 in 2011, a small space station weighing 9.4 tons and measuring 34 feet in length supporting scientific experiments and space docking techniques. The next major milestone was the completion of the Tiangong Space Station in 2022. A large-scale structure with a mass of 100 tons, comprising three main modules, Tianhe the core module, Wentian, and Mengxin the experimental modules. With a living space of 3,884 cubic feet, Tiangong can support six astronauts working continuously, Conducting research on zero-gravity physics and space biology, the infrastructure supporting these achievements is the Wenchang Launch Center, located on Hainan Island, spanning 7.7 .7 square miles. Operational since 2014, this center is designed to handle heavy-lift rockets, with launch pads capable of withstanding thrust forces of up to 1,100,000 pounds. These advancements from the first satellite, crewed missions, to an advanced space station demonstrate China's long-term commitment to building a sustainable space ecosystem, paving the way for grander ambitions like conquering the moon. China's Chang'e program has reshaped the world's perspective on lunar exploration. Establishing the nation as a trailblazer in automated space technology, launched in 2007, the Chang'e 1 mission sent an orbiter weighing 5,070 pounds into space creating a comprehensive three-dimensional map of the moon's surface with a resolution of 394 feet. This map covered more than 80% of the lunar surface, spanning from basalt highlands to ancient impact craters, providing detailed geological data on rock composition and crust structure, serving as a foundation for subsequent missions. By 2013, Chang'e 3 achieved a historic milestone by safely landing the U-2 rover, weighing 309 pounds. On the lava plains of Mariambrium, U-2 traveled 374 feet over 31 months, using ground-penetrating radar to analyze soil layers up to 33 feet deep 
and transmitting more than 7,000 images, along with spectroscopic data on minerals like pyroxene. In 2019, Chengafor made history with an unprecedented feat, successfully landing on the far side of the moon at the Von Karman Crater, which spans 112 miles in width. The U-22 rover, with a maximum speed of 656 feet per hour, traveled over 0.62 miles in more than four years. Collecting over 100,000 scientific data points, its instruments, including an infrared spectrometer, identified mineral samples containing olivine and potential helium-3, an element promising for future nuclear energy applications. The pinnacle came with Chang'e 6 in 2024, which returned 4.4 pounds of samples from the Apollo Basin on the moon's far side, the first such achievement in human history. This mission utilized an automated robotic drilling system with a precision of 0.4 inches, supported by artificial intelligence navigation and optical sensors, achieving a 100% success rate. These accomplishments not only affirm China's technological prowess, but also lay the groundwork for lunar resource extraction, from water ice to minerals, opening prospects for future crewed missions. China's crewed lunar landing mission is built on a sophisticated strategic architecture, leveraging two launches of the Long March 10 rocket to ensure optimal efficiency and safety. Initially, the Lanyu lander, weighing 57,320 pounds, is launched first to enter lunar orbit, where it maintains a stable altitude of approximately 124 miles. Subsequently, the Mengzhou spacecraft, carrying three astronauts, is launched embarking on a translunar journey to perform a rendezvous, a highly precise automated approach and docking process, utilizing laser and radar sensor systems to connect the two spacecraft without manual intervention. The landing sequence begins after two astronauts transfer to the Lanyu, while the third remains on the Mengzhou to monitor operations from orbit. The Lanyu employs a dedicated propulsion stage to decelerate initially, then jettisons this stage at a low altitude to avoid collisions enabling a gentle landing powered by four main engines. The entire mission spans from seven to 10 days, including time on the lunar surface where astronauts conduct extravehicular activity EVA spacewalks with protective suits supporting up to eight hours of continuous operation, allowing for the collection of rock samples and the execution of scientific experiments. On the surface, an autonomous rover equipped with a 4K resolution camera is deployed to aid exploration. Moving at a speed of 0.12 miles per hour, and collecting up to 22 pounds of samples from various locations. This strategy demonstrates superior efficiency, enabling two astronauts to reach the surface while reducing payload weight by 30% compared to traditional single launch models, thereby saving fuel and minimizing technical risks. The innovation in this project's design lies not only in the task division between the two spacecraft, but also in the integration of advanced automation technologies. From docking to landing, Affirming China's leadership in complex space missions, critical infrastructure elements, such as powerful rockets, will be key to supporting this entire strategy, ensuring the mission proceeds smoothly and achieves long-term scientific objectives. The Long March 10 rocket represents the pinnacle of China's propulsion technology development, designed to deliver large payloads to distant orbits. Standing 305 feet tall and weighing 4,850,000 pounds when fully fueled, this rocket employs a first stage equipped with seven YF-100K engines, generating a combined thrust of 5,952,000 pounds, supported by two auxiliary boosters with a diameter of 16.4 feet. The second and third stages utilize clean cryogenic fuel, combining kerosene and liquid oxygen in the lower section and hydrogen and liquid oxygen in the upper section enabling higher performance compared to earlier models that relied on toxic hypergolic fuel. Its capability to deliver 59,500 pounds of payload to translunar orbit positions the Long March 10 as a critical tool for deep space missions, from lunar exploration to plans for more distant ventures. The evolution of the Long March 10 stems directly from the Long March 5, currently China's most powerful rocket, standing 187 feet tall and weighing 1,984,000 pounds, with the ability to deliver 55,100 pounds of payload to low Earth orbit. Enhancements from the Long March 5 include increasing the number of engines and booster size while optimizing the structure to withstand greater thrust, reducing production costs by reusing proven technologies. 
The shift to cryogenic fuel is not only environmentally friendly, but also boosts combustion efficiency by 15%, allowing the rocket to achieve the velocity needed to escape Earth's gravitational pull without requiring complex additional stages. A clear testament to the design's reliability is the static fire test conducted on August 15, 2025, at the Wenchang Launch Center, where the entire first stage with its seven engines was activated, confirming the ability to withstand temperatures up to 5,432 degrees Fahrenheit and maintain structural stability under intense vibrations. The planned first flight in 2027 will incorporate potential reusability features, such as grid fins for controlled booster landing, expected to enhance overall efficiency by 20% by lowering the cost per launch. These advancements not only solidify China's leadership in heavy lift rocketry, but also pave the way for more frequent missions. From constructing lunar stations to exploring distant planets, the integration of components like spacecraft will be the next step to perfecting a comprehensive space system, ensuring seamless coordination between propulsion and payload. The Mengzhou spacecraft and Lanyu lander represent a perfect fusion of modern design and advanced technology, forming the backbone of China's deep space missions. The Mengzhou, weighing 48,500 pounds and measuring 28.9 feet in length, is engineered to carry six astronauts in low Earth orbit or three astronauts for lunar journeys, offering high versatility across various missions. Its closed-loop life support system enables oxygen recycling with an efficiency of up to 95%, while processing wastewater and carbon dioxide to create sustainable resources, reducing the need for carried supplies by 40% compared to traditional systems. Automated docking achieves a precision of 0.4 inches, utilizing artificial intelligence-based algorithms for real-time position adjustments. While a reusable heat shield withstands temperatures up to 3,632 degrees Fahrenheit, protecting the spacecraft during atmospheric re-entry at a speed of 25,000 miles per hour. Additionally, the Mengzhou integrates advanced electronics with a 50 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery capacity, powering scientific instruments and communication systems, including a broadband antenna transmitting data at a rate of one gigabit per second. These features not only enhance safety, but also extend independent operational time to 180 days in orbit, demonstrating China's leadership in reusable spacecraft technology. Turning to the Lanyu lander, weighing 57,320 pounds, it is equipped with four YF-36 engines, each generating 1,686 pounds force of thrust with adjustable power from 50% to 100%, enabling precise control during the landing phase. A system of 16 reaction control thrusters, powered by hypergolic fuel, manages orientation. While obstacle avoidance LIDAR detects objects as small as 3.9 inches from a distance of 328 feet, paired with infrared cameras for real-time terrain mapping, the Lanyu also features a shock-absorbing landing gear system designed to withstand impact forces up to 10 gun, ensuring stability on the moon's rugged surface in a cabin with 530 cubic feet of space, allowing two astronauts to work comfortably for seven days. A testament to reliability is the Mengzhou's successful paddleboard test in June 2025, where the escape system activated in two seconds to propel the spacecraft to a safe altitude of 3,280 feet. Similarly, the Lanyu's gravity simulation test in August 2025, using a 57,320 pound model for 30 seconds, validated landing capabilities under one-sixth of Earth's gravity. Technologies such as artificial intelligence in navigation and resource recycling systems not only enhance efficiency, but also reduce risks for astronauts, solidifying China's leadership in safe and sustainable space equipment. Ongoing real-world testing will continue to reinforce the reliability of this system, ensuring readiness for complex missions. The International Lunar Research Station ILRS initiative marks China's strategic vision to shape the future of space exploration, aiming to establish a long-term research station at the Moon's South Pole. This project, with a construction phase spanning from 2026 to 2035, is expected to develop a basic facility covering 3.86 square miles, designed to support scientific activities and resource extraction. A key focus is in-situ resource utilization ISRU technology, enabling the production of 2,200 pounds of oxygen annually from water ice 
found in the moon's permanently shadowed regions. This technology not only supplies resources for long-term missions, but also reduces transportation costs from Earth, with estimated savings of more than 60% compared to traditional methods. International cooperation is a cornerstone of the ILRS, involving Russia, Pakistan, South Africa, and 10 other nations through six joint technical initiatives, a notable agreement with Russia, signed in May 2025, focuses on developing a mini nuclear power plant with a capacity of 0.5 megawatts to provide continuous energy for the station. The Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8 missions, scheduled for launch between 2026 and 2028, will survey the site using LIDAR systems with a resolution of 3.3 feet, mapping over 1,000 square miles of the South Pole region to identify resource-rich locations, such as water ice and minerals. Chang'e 7 will carry a drilling device capable of penetrating 6.6 .6 feet to analyze soil composition, while Chang'e 8 will test three-dimensional printing technology using lunar soil to construct basic structures, achieving a compressive strength of 1,450 pounds per square inch. From 2036, the ILRS is expected to transition to an operational phase, supporting 20 astronauts working simultaneously in sealed laboratories with a living space of 7,060 cubic feet. Research will focus on helium-3, a rare isotope with the potential to provide clean nuclear energy, with estimates suggesting one pound of helium-3 can generate 10 megawatts of electricity for one year. Additionally, the station will deploy infrared and radar telescopes for deep space observation, offering sensitivity three times greater than Earth-based instruments. The integration of international expertise and advanced technologies, such as ISRU, three-dimensional printing, and nuclear power, not only underscores China's leadership, but also ushers in a new era of sustainable space exploration. These efforts lay the foundation for global projects encouraging the international community to pursue greater scientific goals together. What are your thoughts? How do you think this program will shape the future? Share your opinions in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe to stay updated on the latest analyses of technology, national strategies, and innovations shaping the future. Top 10 Discoveries Official will be back with untold stories, projects that push boundaries, and quiet revolutions with global impact. See you in the next video.